Dr. Creek plant treats 136,000 cubed meters of sludge a day. After being treated, the water is released in the Chesapeake Bay, the biggest estuary of the United States. The sensitive ecosystem of this bay has led the local authorities to strengthen the regulations on discharge and now require a very low rate of nitrogen per discharge litre of water. To meet those very strict norms and to go beyond the Virginia state legislation, Proctor Creeks has chosen the Meteor IFAS process from the De Grimont's American subsidiary. Meteor IFAS is a process biologique which is addressed to the treatment of the urban C'est un procédé qui est mixte, donc qui est complémentaire du procédé traditionnel à bout activé. Euh, la mixité est assurée par la, la coexistence de deux types de populations, une population libre comme dans la boue activée et une population qui va être fixée sur des supports en plastique qui sont mis en, en suspension dans les bassins. Il y a un premier marché, celui de Proctor Creek, qui est celui de la réhabilitation. L'intérêt, c'est voilà, une station existante qui va augmenter sa charge de pouvoir, avec, avec des moindres modifications, en particulier pas d'augmentation des, des, des bassins, donc pas d'investissement en génie civil, on va pouvoir augmenter cette charge. Après, ça va être des stations, donc tout type de, de rejet, donc plutôt nitrifiant, voire dénitrifiant, et ça va être des stations qui ont une contrainte d'espace, puisque le gain va être principalement sur la taille qui va être réduite des bassins. This is a 27 MGD treatment plant. We are currently going through a BNR, Biological Nutrient Removal Project Upgrade, and we have selected Infilco Degremont's Meteor IFAS system. We did a pilot test in conjunction with Infilco Degremont to assess the benefits of the IFAS process um, to our influent. Uh, one of the things that came out of that was that we would be able to meet the stringent Chesapeake Bay nutrient limit requirements of five milligrams per liter. One of the benefits from the early startup and testing that we've encountered is that we should have an increased capacity of 10 to 15 percent, which was not engineered or planned on, but will be a benefit in the end. And we have so far, um, during initial startup, been able to meet our monthly nutrient limit requirements. It was also more cost effective to go this route than conventional treatment. We would have used up our remaining real estate for a conventional process. Chesterfield has always been progressive in leading the way in environmental regulations and technologies to meet those regulations. And as such, we wanted to be progressive and forward leaning in choosing Infelco Degremont to lead us in meeting those nitrogen limits. Thank you.